What's going on guys? Welcome back to Dark Souls 3. In the previous part, we created our character, the Herald, and we beat Udex Gundir, the very first boss. And we've just arrived at this door. We are also now glowing uh, with fire. And the thing in the, in the top left is now also uh, fiery and red. And I believe we have more health as well, so it's probably a good thing. Um, it seems to be very similar to humanity in the previous games where you have more HP. Uh, you probably can be invaded. Things like that. Okay. See, I wasn't expecting a massive door to lead to, well, basically nothing. Broken straight sword. There it is. A weapon with no exceptional qualities, only a mad hollow would choose to fight with this. Uh, skill is stance. While in stance, use normal attack to break a foe's guard from below, and strong attack to slash upwards with a forward lunge. Only, neither move will appear very impressive with a broken sword. I could, yeah, I could see that. Alright, so... It's not even that bad. Honestly. Alright, start to open menu. I don't get why they don't, like, teach you how to do this before you fight the boss. That's a bit weird. Uh, but sure. Alright. Alright, what's up, little buddy? You wanna do this? You wanna do this, buddy? I wanna try the spear's special move, actually. And as long as he raises that, that shield, that will give me a chance to do it. Yep, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. Alright, so I just stabbed him straight through his, uh, shield. I like that. Homeward Bone. So, we know these from the previous games. Uh, they will return you to the last bonfire you used. Uh, sustained by the bo uh, bonfires are sustained by the bones of the undead. In rare cases, their previous owners strong urge to seek bonfires and chance their bones with the Homeward Instinct, which is, that's pretty cool. So, the, yeah, they're the bones of people that really like bonfires, like ourselves, really. And now, uh, their bones can be used for this purpose. That's pretty cool. That's not bad. Is this a different path to the right, or... Man, look at this place. This is nuts. Alright, so we... Wait, do we come from that direction, basically? I guess maybe we, like... Alright, so we, at the start of the game, that's a dude over there. At the start of the game, we're sort of buried, we're dead, somehow. Maybe we were, like, from the castle, and they were just like, Oh, this dude's dead, well, let's just drop in the graveyard, then. I don't know. I'm not a lore person, as you can tell. Alright, sorry, buddy, but this is it for you. Are you serious? Fall down, man, there you go. Come on, you can't stand on a ledge like that and not fall down, I mean, come on. I hear somebody over here. There we go. These dudes are definitely live. Told ya. You guys are not sneaky at all. Alright, and these guys are alive as well. They're just not super happy with their current situation or something. No, 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 no. Bad hollow. No stabbing. Alright. So I guess this was just a different path that we could have taken up. Yeah, let's not go down there. Let's not do that. I'd like to stay alive. I just want to make sure there's no items remaining or... Somebody died here. I don't know how. What was he fighting? Oh. That could be it. That could very well be it. Alright, well, if that guy's tough, then I'm not gonna go there right away. We gotta find a bonfire. And actually figure out how to use our souls. Oh, that's a dog. Nope, don't think so, doggy. There you go, come on, fall down. No, he should be... Fall down. Screw it, I'll just stab him. There we go. 
That's a good doggy. <laughs> well, that one's dead. Maybe if he had been born a cat, he would have survived. All right, so is there any items over here, or was the dog just hanging out? Oh, it's a weapon. Ah, oh, night. Ember. So that's new. Gain strength of flame, boosting HP until death. No unkindled can ever truly claim the embers that burn within a champion's bosom, which is precisely what makes their yearning for warmth so keen. Gain the strength of flame. Alright, so we saw that. With the strength of fire, the summoning signs of unkindled become visible, and seekers of embers can be summoned to join in cooperation. But beware, the embers may also attract invaders. So it is like humanity uh, in that sense. And so we do. We are embered now, or kindled, I guess. Um, so we know how that works now. You can just find these items lying around. That's cool. So it's basically this this game's version of humanity. Well, hello. I already know this, sadly. Firelink Shrine, man. For those of you that don't know, that's the area from the uh, first Dark Souls game. It's the hub area. And sadly, I, di I did have it spoiled for me that it's the same in this one. Uh, but still, it's really, really cool to see, even though it's not even slightly similar. There's a bunch of thrones here. There's a dude sitting on that throne that I just noticed. Alright, so there's five thrones. I've got a dude over here. What's up, buddy? Ah, another one roused from the sleep of death. Well, you're not alone. We unkindled are worthless. Can't even die right. <laughs> Gives me conniptions. And they'd have us seek the Lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. But we're talking true legends with the metal to link the fire. Not fit to lick their boots. Collapse. Alright, so that's one of the gestures. <laughs> so basically, I think in every Souls game, there's this guy that... Let's see, I want to get rid of... Um... I guess I'll go to Joy. Alright. So in every Souls game, there's a guy that's always sort of down in the dumps, the crestfallen warrior. I guess this is him. Sweet sword, though. He's got a cool, cool outfit. And who's this? Uh, oh, that's the girl from the, uh, the starting cutscene. be delivered to them. To this end, I am at thy side. Alright, so she is the person that can level us up. And we can talk some more. To be unkindled is to be a vessel for souls. Sovereignless souls will become thy strength. I will show thee how. Ashen one. Bring me souls plucked from their vessels. Very well. Then touch the darkness within me. Take nourishment from these sovereignless souls. Alright, so with the souls that we've collected so far, we can level up. We can level up a total of six times, which is actually real nice. Um, Alright, so let's start with getting dexterity to 12. Just make that slightly more balanced. Let's get faith to 14. Uh, which will make the healing spell slightly better. I think what we most of all could use is, let's see, let's put two in Vigor, get some higher health, and then I'd say probably two more Dexterity, okay. One Dexterity, one Strength, that seems like a good balance. I I think I want to stick with a somewhat more balanced um, stats there, both in, you know, Strength, strength Dexterity, both a little bit. Um, so that'll do. That'll do. We also have luck now, which I believe raises all kinds of resistances and your item discovery, which is pretty cool. 
Farewell, Ashen One. All right, thank you, lady. Appreciate you. All right, so we also have a soul of an unknown traveler. It's eight hundred. All right, that might be a bit much, but. Produce the coiled sword at the bonfire. The mark of ash will guide thee to the land of the lords, to Lothric, where the homes of the lords converge. All right, but I just wanted to level up once more. Do you want to go with? Endurance is also a bit low right now. Yeah, I'll put one more in dexterity. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flame. Ah, here we go. Embed the coiled sword. Damn, look at that. So that's a sword that we got from the uh Oh, that's isn't that the swords that you always see in these bonfires, or are they different in this game? I honestly don't even know if they're if they're normal swords in the first two games, but yeah, that's this is cool. Alright. So we can rest here now, that's good to know, but we've got some more things to uh tend to. Is this one of the this is one of the old ladies from uh Dark Souls 2 actually? to give my goods away. Ashen One, fetch souls and bring them to me. As is thy want, no? <laughs> All right, so she is sort of a merchant type person. She sells all kinds of things. Some embers. All right, reduces poison. We've got a tower key. That's 20,000, God. Another heal aid. We already have this, though. Uh, white sign soapstone. We can use this to cooperate with other people, which would be uh, pretty cool. Oh, we're bones. We've got a dagger. Short sword. I actually kind of like the short sword, so I might even consider using that. Uh, halberd. Bit of basic armor. All right, this is pretty cool, though. Thank you, lady. Be sure to bring more souls. <laughs> Apparently she's really into souls these days. But this was the most surprising of all. This is uh, Andre. Who is the blacksmith from Dark Souls 1. Well, a newcomer I see. I am Andre. I serve at this shrine as a humble smith forging weapons. You're in search of the Lords of Cinder, I trust. A toilsome journey, I wager. You require good arms. Let me smith your weapons. I am a smith. Such is my purpose. All right, so he can make our weapons stronger, but we need more Titanite shards. Uh, infuse. All right, so that's what the fire gem uh, is used for that you can choose at the start. So we could have a fire spear if we wanted to. Uh, repair, not necessary. A lot asked us. All right, so, oh, okay. So I guess we'll just go with three normal ones and one blue one. No, that's a shard in inventory. All right, so we can get more if we want to. Weapons and protection are sturdy enough by and large. But when overused, they'll eventually break. When their durability is low, repair becomes a necessity. Use a powder, or simply rest at a bonfire. But should chance impel them break, bring them me. I'll hammer them back into shape. They take no pleasure in breaking, I assure ye. So handle them with care, if you would. I like how he just cares so much about weapons and stuff. Hey, be careful. 
All right, so the one thing remaining is to check out these thrones up there, which is basically the focus of the room. And there's this weird little kid sitting up there, so I would like to, uh, to find out what that's all about. Can I even get on these thrones? Look at these, man. All right, so I don't have a, an easy way to get back, though. Is there even anything in these, like... They're all empty. I don't know what the point of these is, actually. I guess it's just similar to Demon's Souls, where you've got this massive hub with all these different areas where, even though, like, there's just nothing there. Oh. Oh, there's something engraved in there. Yorm the Giant of the Profane Capital. So this is where that giant guy sits from the, uh, the intro. This one's a lot smaller. Watchers of the Abyss. I think we saw those as well. This is the middle one. This one should be good. Holy King Lothric, last hope of his line. And this is the one the kid is sitting in. Ludlith the Exiled. Saint Eldritch of the Deep. And this is the only one that has like a protective cover over it. But judging from the intro, he did look pretty gross, so I, I could see why. Alright, who are you? All that unkindled, and a seeker of lords. I am Ludlith of Corland. Look not in bewilderment, as I say. I linked the fire long ago, becoming the Lord of Cinder. If substantiation be thy want, set thine eyes upon my charred corpse. This sad cadaver, no need to be coy. Have a closer look. Yeah, it looks pretty messed up. He's like, he doesn't have any legs, I believe. No style of our purpose. Five thrones will take five lords as kindling for the linking of the fire. The fast fading flame must be licked to preserve this world. A reenactment of the first linking of the fire. So it is. I became a lord of Cinder. I may be but small, but I will die a colossus. That's cool. No style of All right, you already told me about that. I don't need you. Don't need to tell me again. It's this is interesting though. Like I don't know too much about the lore. I enjoy watching lore videos though. That's always interesting stuff. But like, I feel like people are gonna have a field day with all this. There's so many references to older games, and not even just references, there's just things that are back, such as the uh, the Firelink Shrine. Uh, Andre is here. But so is the lady from Dark Souls 2, so... It's just a bit... It's so weird, all of it. Alright, so I have 400... Uh, I'm gonna buy a torch, actually. I'm just gonna spend my souls before I do anything dangerous, but... We saw that guy out there, and I was carrying all my souls, so I was a bit worried about, you know, losing him. I want to go out there and see if we can take this guy out now. At least now I don't have to be worried about anything. I mean, I might lose my, my beautiful ember. Uh, that could happen. But I'll live. Who is this guy? It's just a naked dude. There's so many bloodstains. This guy must be like... Either we're about to get ambushed or this guy is like deceptively strong. Are you? Are you, buddy? Oh, he's got some moves, man. Oh, yep, he's pretty strong. Oh, boy. Oh, yep, that, okay. My bad. <laughs> there goes that ember. <laughs> oh, man. Is that our first death? Could be. Oh my god, alright. See, now that little flamey effect is completely gone. And, um... Wait, we didn't even rest at the bonfire in there. We probably should have done that as well. 
But my, my health is a bit lower. And that little flamey effect is now gone. Oh, he almost got me there, bud. Almost got me. Oh, almost messed that up. It's such a cool move. There we go. Alright, so let's rest at that bonfire so when we die, we get back over here. I can already tell this guy with the uh, the cool sword, he's going to give me some trouble. Oh, we already lit it, obviously. Burn undead bone shard. Don't have one. I don't know what that does. Organized storage box. So we do have a storage box at the... Uh, the bonfire, which is cool. Tune our spells. We only have one, so there you go. And now we can travel. Hey, wait a minute. All right, so this is where we've actually been. We now have the high wall of Lothric as well. So that's what she means when she says, let the fire guide you or something to that effect. She was talking about actually lighting this fire and then checking it out. That is that. Okay, that makes sense. Because I wasn't entirely sure on what they expected me to do, but now I know. Alright, buddy. You got me last time. But you know what they say. No, wait. I'm gonna push you off the cliff. Because you're too- yeah, there we go. You little troublemaker. Get out of my way. There's something cool in there. Alright, I'm just gonna check out the, the, the key real quick that that lady is selling. Oh, there's an item here as well. East-West Shield. Excuse me. I'm trying to check my inventory here. Being awfully rude. Thank you. A wooden shield decorated with the ancient symbol of the two-headed eagle. Close to a small shield in size. Wooden shields are light, manageable, and offer high magic absorption. I wonder why that is the case. Is it any good, though? Not really. It's only good against magic, really, and it's quite light. I mean, that is definitely a uh, something that's quite good about it, but that's pretty much it, I believe. Another ember, alright. That's nice. Seeing as I lost one, thanks to that annoying guy down there. Oh. Homeward bone, alright. I wonder how many things I've missed by now. It's probably quite a lot. Oh wait, we're, we're over here. It's the little doggy again. There you go, doggy. So I want to see what this key does that the old lady is selling. Because I want to first of all figure out what it's called. Here we go. Let's rest up though. Get her health back. Ooh, I wonder if that guy... No, I don't think he actually does respawn considering the fact that... He gave me that many souls. What's it called? Tower key to the dilapidated tower behind the shrine. Ashen one. Could that be uh, the door up there? Is that a tower? Because I didn't think it was really a tower, but nope, that's definitely a tower. Wait, why is there loot over there now? Oh, it's sitting where that guy was standing earlier, so is he supposed to... Yup. Alright, Uji Katana, wow. That's really good. I'm gonna need some more dexterity to actually use this, though. Two more. But I would love to use this. That looks real good. Alright, so he was supposed to drop it, but because he fell off of the cliff, he never got a chance to give me my items. 
We also got the master's attire. That's not very good. Men are fond of weaving tales to explain the raggedness of their garb. My sixth sense warned me of danger, and I danced between flurries of blades, unscathed. But alas, my clothes went to tatters. That is a good story about how your clothes are all messed up now. Alright, also the master's gloves. Basically the same thing. So he was wearing some gear that was like really gross and stuff, but the Uji Katana is nice. I'm quite happy we got that. And luckily I actually went back to check the, uh, the door there, because if I hadn't done that, I would have missed that Uji Katana. We never would have found it. So that's pretty good. All right. So we're going to need some more dexterity. Let me just see how much it will take me to level up, because if we can reach uh, 16 somewhat soon, that would be really nice. Uh, all right, so I'm just going to go ahead and use these. So, um, let's see. All right. All these soul items that I have with me. Hey, here we go. So she was telling us about this. So she's saying that all these lords are from different places, but they all converge, or the places that they're from converge in Lotharic. So it's probably going to be a very strange um, story. All right, so 15 dexterity is fine. We should be able to reach um, 16 real soon. So the High Wall of Lothric, she was telling me to go here and find the Lords of Cinder. Because this is where their homes converge. I don't know what that means, but it sounds good. Dark Drift. Cursed sword with an unseen blade. I, I would like that weapon. Grave Key. Alright. Look at that little pop in there. Uh, where am I? It's not a coiled sword right here, but... That's kind of weird. I was definitely expecting to spot at a bonfire. And you can tell this door has not been opened for quite a while. Where are we? High Wall of Lothric. Is this the castle that I saw? No. I think this is a different castle. I honestly don't know where we are. <clears throat> In relation to, um, Firelink Shrine. This is some... That's a... <laughs> that's a dead dragon. See, that could be what I saw earlier. That area over there. I just... I just legit don't know. But this is like a whole city, so... Let's see where... Oh, there we go. Alright, so this is our bonfire over here. I hear some screeching noises as well. Dude, is this going to be another trick like in, in Dark Souls 2 with the... Um, the dead dragon? Is this thing alive or... It does look kind of weird how all these people are starting to turn into trees apparently. Looks a little messed up. Alright, anyway, let's make sure that we rest at this bonfire. I want to make sure that we spawn here uh, when we die. Alright. So I'm going to leave it here for now, guys. In the next part, we're going to explore the High Wall of Lothric. And I guess we'll see what this area has to offer. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you guys soon.